guys it's the consistent queen back again with another video i mean as you guys know we are consistent if you're new here thank you for stopping by please don't forget to hit that subscribe button trust me you're gonna love it here and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for coming back so as you can tell from the title of this video we have yet another vloggy vlog vlog and today is day one of our vlog we are currently booked into this beautiful airbnb i specifically booked it because i wanted to take some content i just felt like it's been a long time since i took content and it was getting kind of tiring taking content at my place because the backgrounds are going to be the same on my feed and those who know me know that i'm very dedicated to literally every single thing that i do so i just wanted to take like a fresh approach to my content and all of that and i figured that booking the airbnb would not only be convenient but also it would give me the aesthetics that i'm looking for and by convenience i mean i can literally just use my tripod and i can take pictures wherever i want whereas if i went to a public access place i would feel shy walking around with a tripod you get me but at least here i'm in a private space i feel very comfortable i feel very safe and i can really just take my time and do what i want to do so yeah guys i really can't wait until my efforts start paying off but until then we will keep on trying and keep on striving and just keep on doing our best and yeah let's get into this airbnb tour as you step into the airbnb this is what you see to the left is the guest bathroom this is how it looks we have a huge shower over here oh my goodness guys this shower is actually really big like wow i wonder how many people can fit into the shower and yeah we have a toilet as well very cutesy very aesthetic over here is the guest bedroom so cute guys i already told you before that this place is just so beautiful and the aesthetics are exactly what i was looking for and as you continue inwards we are greeted by the kitchen over here to the right and ahead of us is the living area so we have a long dining room table the living room space with the tv and to the right is the main bedroom <laughs> this place is so pretty oh my goodness i know that the main bedroom is exactly like the guest bedroom but wait there is a surprise <laughs> and the surprise is there is a little bit of a closet kind of vibe going on here there's a dedicated working space and the bathroom here is much bigger as you guys can see there are double sinks we also have the toilet that is separate to the rest of the bathroom is separated by a door and the shower is the same size if i'm not mistaken yeah it looks like the same size as the guest shower but yeah guys how pretty is this oh my goodness <laughs> so cutesy <laughs> wow i had actually checked in around the afternoon and I was just using that time to film the content that I wanted to film because more than anything, I really love natural lighting. I just feel like natural lighting makes your pictures look so crisp. But unfortunately, the weather was a little bit overcast, so I didn't really get the sun-kissed vibe that I was looking for. But the pictures still look amazing. If you get the chance, please check out my Instagram You see how the content came out. And yeah guys, now I literally just tidied up a little bit. I tidied up before filming this video. Like I'm telling you, this guest bedroom was an absolute mess. Like guys, I'm just a girl. <laughs> so when I'm getting ready, like everything looks so messy. But I was like, no, before I even try to film this video, let me just tidy up so that you guys can see the spaces in their true form. You get me? so yeah guys we are here in this two bedroom apartment i wanted a two bedroom specifically even though i'm alone because i just wanted space like guys i love space and i also love having options like more than anything i enjoy having 
the freedom of choice like it means everything to me so now that i am basically done filming what i wanted to film and filming what i could film you and i are just gonna be bonding we're just gonna be chilling um i ordered something to eat i ordered something from mcdonald's and yeah like we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the evening and chill and i also want to shower and just relax guys <laughs> i always forgot to show you guys but oh my gosh i love my flowers how beautiful are my pink roses they came as a delivery guys i was really like taken away when i saw these because i love pink roses and also like the paper matches the roses guys this is so cute ah! <laughs> hey guys welcome to another day of the vloggy vlog vlog so i just wanted to start off today by filming a little luxury unboxing as i have mentioned before i'm somebody who enjoys watching luxury content i really do consume a lot of that kind of content and i really enjoy watching luxury unboxings hence i enjoy filming an unboxing here or there not too much but every now and then i would like to film a luxury unboxing and this is in no way to show off or anything i'm just genuinely showing you guys stuff that i'm really excited about and purchases that i'm really happy about and yeah like i'm just so excited and i wanted to show you guys because i mean like i feel like we're friends so <laughs> i just wanted to share the excitement with you guys so yeah let's get into it i'm gonna be showing you guys the stuff that i got from louis vuitton as well as skins cosmetics i honestly don't know which one i want to start with i think let's start with the one from skins so let's unbox this baby right here those of you who follow me on instagram probably already have an idea of the stuff that i got but you can guess because you're probably not gonna guess right but you may have an idea but you're probably not gonna guess right i actually thought of filming this thing sitting down but the way i'm so excited like guys i can't even sit down <laughs> i can't even sit down like in the middle of the night i was just like you guys want that tiktok something yes i was feeling so restless because guys how can you sleep when you have a new bag and fragrance like <laughs> personally i couldn't so from skins um i got this perfume from mfk this fragrance is actually unisex so when i went to skins i knew that i wanted an mfk fragrance i just felt like it's actually been a long time since i've had an mfk fragrance i used to be a big fan of baccarat rouge 540 but i just feel like mm, it's a bit overdone like there's a lot of dupes of the scents so i was just kind of like over it and when i went there i just smelled literally all of the fragrances like i literally smelled each and every single one and then i shortlisted the ones that i liked and those are the ones that i sprayed on myself and this one here the ala rose family really stood out for me so there are two types of ala rose fragrances there's the feminine one and then there's this one which is more unisex and this scent really just smells so nice on my skin <laughs> and when i went to skins i kind of already had an idea of the specific fragrance that i wanted but when i sprayed it on i just felt like it didn't really sit well on my skin but this is the one. Oh my goodness i just don't want it to fall you guys see that it's like <laughs> so it smells very floral but it smells floral in a kind of like masculine way not overly masculine but like in a way that like even a gent can wear this scent you know oh my goodness I wish you guys could smell this, yo. If you have the opportunity to go to Skins, please go smell this fragrance and let me know what you think. Like, please just let me know what you think. It smells so good to me, yo. Let me even just, yo. Oh my guys, this fragrance is so nice, like wow and i feel like it's very underrated because i actually haven't seen 
any reviews about it i haven't really seen anybody talking about it so i would say it's kind of underrated and it's not a fragrance that i've smelled anywhere actually it smells similar to other fragrances but the other fragrances don't quite hit the same as this one i have been considering filming a perfume kind of like perfume review perfume collection type of video so please do let me know if that's something that you would like to see now moving on to this one oh my goodness guys let me show you what i got from louis vuitton i went in a bag that was big enough to fit a lot of stuff because i'm the kind of person where like i want either like a small bag that barely fits anything or a big bag but like there's no in between with me like uh, there's literally no in between with me and i just felt like so far i've just been getting like a lot of small bags like most of my bags are very small like they don't fit a lot of stuff and that's what i like i just feel like those bags are like they're cute they're chic but i'm at an age where like now i need to start like investing in bigger bags because i'm going to be carrying a lot more stuff and i wanted a bag that screams I'm getting serious about getting my life together type of thing and as you guys are about to see now that bag really does give she's serious about getting her life together type of thing like she's gonna be attending presentations she's going to be going to meetings she's going to be going to classes she's just on top of things like this girl knows what's going on she's going to pilates she she just has her life together I don't have my life together but I'm trying you know and this bag gives off she's trying like she's trying which I am and the way i love you guys i was literally resisting the urge to unbox this bag the entire time because i was like no the first time i unbox this bag needs to be on youtube like i need to show my youtube family like what's going on i need to show them what's good Ta -da! <laughs> oh my goodness yeah oh my goodness guys are you ready are you ready <laughs> this is the bag so this is the neo noir bag in leather as you guys can see it is black leather they usually have these bags in either leather or canvas the canvas one is the brown one that has the normal louis vuitton print i'm sure you guys have seen it around but i wanted something kind of like not, not i don't want to say quiet luxury but i just wanted something that's not too loud something that's sophisticated i would say i'm a little bit sophisticated something elegant and i feel like even though the other canvas bags are sophisticated they are elegant but this bag and the leather just suit my personality a lot more like so it has a drawstring and the drawstring obviously cinches up the bag but if the drawstring is not engaged this is how the bag looks as you guys can see it's it's a bucket bag it looks quite big because it is quite big but it's not like overwhelmingly big you know and it has this short strap as well as this longer strap and the longer strap is adjustable which is great because sometimes you just want to carry the bag at different lengths and inside it's all black as you guys can see it's literally an all black bag with gold hardware which i quite like because i'm a gold grady <laughs> i'm a gold grady and then it has a pouch inside but i don't know if it's removable i don't think it is i don't think the pouch is removable but it does have a pouch inside and it has two compartments that are separated by the pouch and yeah guys this is the bag the i'm getting my life together bag the i'm going to be going to pilates frequently the i'm going to be you know going for presentations going for meetings i'm just serious like the i'm getting into my bag bag you know this is her and underneath is just leather and at the bottom there's no um lv logo it's just plain black leather very smooth and yeah so pretty <laughs> i'm obsessed hey guys welcome to another day of the vloggy vlog vlog we are about to step out to get some surveying done and i'm going to be taking you guys with me today
Nike started selling Jordans. Yo, I've been peeking. Like guys, one thing about like these resellers, they were making so much money out of us. Yo, no, like they were really making a lot of money. <laughs> so I got a pair of Jordans when I went to the mall today. I specifically went there because I wanted to get some toiletries and a frame. But then I passed by Nike. And when I saw these guys, I couldn't resist. I was just like, what? These are so cute. So it's this nude and white colorway. And they are mids, as you guys can see. So cutesy. So yeah, guys, I know Pretoria, not Pretoria, Santin Mall in Joburg also has like a big Nike store where they sell Jordans and stuff. So if you're somebody who's into those kind of shoes do check them out because we can't keep on letting resellers rip us off like we need to say no okay we need to say no <laughs> i know there's some shoes that you like specifically can't get anywhere else you need to get them from resellers but like the shoes that you can get from the actual store itself get it from the store because you're gonna save so much money like i'm thinking about if i was trying to buy these shoes from like a reseller how much i would have bought them for like guys it's crazy they make so much money out of us but anyways on that note guys i'm just gonna end the video off here i don't want the video to be too long <laughs> and besides that i'm so tired so i'm gonna be using the rest of the time to just relax pour back into my cup and i will see you guys on the next video please make sure that you are subscribed if you're not subscribed yet and give this video a huge thumbs up i hope that you enjoyed watching this is it from me the consistent queen bye